Oh, Kira Love. The beast from the east. <laughs> <laughs> no, for no. Simo. One it's Arzabel oh, for Simo. Simo. Yeah. And in the bottom right, we have, it's one, uh, we have the green Zerg. Darker days. Darker days. Currently leading 1-0. Yeah, so, uh, uh, so as a reminder, game one was a pretty close game, although uh, there was a, a small macro advantage <coughs> for Darker Days all game long, which ended up being decisive. But uh, a Joker had a lot of, of uh, mech timing he could have went for. Instead, he waited for, for Darker Days to attack. And <laughs> Darker Days lost his whole army. Joker Love tried to go as a counter attack ended up failing, and this is where Darker Days took the lead. That's correct, and it's always risky as mech to try and move out, but at some points you have to. <laughs> yeah. So the question is always when, when and where. <laughs> yep. But this time we're not going to see mech because Joker's random fell on Protoss. Yep, which is actually Joker's best race. So, so uh, yeah, and also happens to be Darker Days' worst matchup. Oh, so it's interesting. So. As yep. we can see so far, uh, we have a little wall off uh, from uh, Joker, who seems to be intending to go fast expand when you go forge first. Yeah. Well, most Usually. of the time it's fast, ex fast expand. Yeah. Isn't it? Isn't it expand at the third? You know, you place the forge there, then you use a diversion to take an expand at the third. Wasn't that the plan? I doubt that, but <laughs> who knows? <laughs> Joker does. We have uh, a little lag here that we can see. Game was paused. Oh, uh, yeah. That, 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 that actually what happened was uh, jo Joker was using uh, an old keyboard which had a disconnect, uh, like randomly disconnected, and he could not pause. <laughs> so he told me every time he would be like, uh, he would his keyboard would be up, he would make his probe turn in circles. And then I saw his probe turn in circles, so I just pressed pause. <laughs> Interesting. So was the keyboard disconnected or was it yeah. a false alarm and it was just like turning? Because, yeah, I yeah. believe it was disconnected, <laughs> although we figured out a way to for him to pause even with the mouse. So we have Darker Days uh, seeing the forge <laughs> and turning around straight away. Uh, not wanting to actually risk hitting a cannon because, well, he doesn't know if it was cannon first or Nexus first. Yeah. And again, in here, uh, with Darker Days having confidence, especially against Terran, Terran being his best uh, opponent matchup. Uh, Darker Days is, will probably not be happy to discover that his opponent is Proda. So let's see what he's gonna uh, have in store for for us here. He starts four links, and I think his turn is good. just gonna go expand, drone, drone, drone. That's what we've seen for him, and that's what I'm expecting in this game. We have you explaining to the players why you paused the game earlier. <laughs> yeah. And other than that, we can see the gateway and the cannons up. Everything's in position for a bold player, the Zergs are gonna go and move, uh, see <laughs> if if they can move inside the enemy base, see what's up. So, uh, well, how do you feel? Uh, even if you say Darker Days uh, versus Protoss is is not his best matchup, but I mean, how do you? What would you do as a Zerg? I mean, most Zerg at this point would take a third base. At least that's what I see most on the ladders or in yes. tournaments because you want to be one base in front of the Protoss as Zerg. Exactly, especially since you don't know because of this information here, you know that there's probably an expand behind this. So you want to drone, drone, and you want to make that third early. We're already five minutes in, which is a bit late for the third, so maybe he's he's playing it extra safe, or maybe he's intending on some form of attack. Uh, but, but I mean, Darker Days saw that there's two cannons. This is a clear sign that your opponent's actually macroing on two bays. No, you won't expand or be able to defend the third or just attack you this early in the game when you spend 300 minerals on cannons. Yeah, so I guess he's just going for a different ordering in his build, maybe droning first and taking his third a bit later. Oh, but already we have a deviation from well, uh, w what I would say normal play. So we have the three guesses being taken at the same time. And as a Zerg player, well, as I was a Zerg player before, that is a sign for, can you guess? Well, most probably uh, infested. Oh, no, actually, uh -huh. if this was 2011, this could be the case. But um, nowadays, that would be for a very fast Mutalisk build. So Mutalisk, we'll see if that's what's coming. We have uh, Darker Days making sure there's no DT sneaking in, making a score, or even air, because yeah. you always so know there could be a spores, a rest. Playing, but Putting two spores down blindly as a Zerg player shows that you want to, you're, you think you're better, well, 
not necessarily, but you, you think you're better enough than your uh, than your opponent enough so that you play those sports to be extra safe and you still think you can win if the Protoss is going macro. That's correct, but Bakuris is still on two base, so if they're going both oh, player yeah, macro, sure. that's not going to be to his advantage very long. I mean, yeah, but Darker Days is going on two base because he wants to make his mutas. Yes, that's correct. But he has to make the mutas count in that case. Oh yes, definitely. There is pressure on him. For we that. have uh, the robotic facility going down for Joker, which uh, is not very good against mutas. So the mutas might make their way in. Yeah, well, especially if uh, Blink is not researched, because we see a Trilight console being down, but it doesn't seem to be used. I don't think an upgrade was researched on that, so, so he places it down. Maybe he, was, he had something planned at all, but there we go. That's a sign that uh, Joker will be aggressive. Aggression is coming. You have uh, four gateways going down, which will bring the total count to seven, but it's going to be instantly scouted by Darker Days. Yeah, so a very good timing on the scout from Darker Days. Of course, when you're going to base Muta, uh, you really have to discover what your opponent is up to, and if he's going for a lot of soccer's with Blink, which looks like is the case, then you want to know so that you can react. But there is no blink. The question is, you are right, the spire is going up. But there, uh, as I was saying, there is no blink. So do you think uh, even with seven gateways, the, those stalkers could repel the, mu the mutalisk? Yeah, definitely. Once you're going for that many gateways, the, the, you should make enough, uh, enough to hold. However, if you don't scout it, maybe you won't have enough. Maybe you'll focus on sentries or other gateway units. That is always a risk. We have a Hidden pile in the top right, uh, allowing Protoss to make a counter attack should uh, Zerg just storm the front. So far, only three Starkers up, but we are assuming there's going to be a lot more from those seven yeah. gateway coming very fast. Excuse me, I'll be right back. We can also notice that there's cannons building in the mineral lines of the Joker, which means the Mulus won't be as effective at just sniping probes as if no defenses were there. That said, uh, there's 12 Mutalisks under construction. 12 Mutalisks, you have to count. You have to consider that 12 Mutalisks can actually deal pretty lo a lot of damage and actually almost instantly snipe those cannons. So Mutalisks are out. They're going to move on the map trying to go abuse the timing push. They're going to be there straight away. We can, uh, we can see them coming from two directions. Uh, no, they're going to regroup. So one direction, right, the top wow. of the main base. And that's a lot of mutas. And it looks like Joker hasn't scouted this. And this there's could not do a lot many of damage. stalkers How yet. many stalkers are there yet? There's three, but there's seven gateways. There's and as I was saying, a few cannons. Stalkers. But here the probes go down. The mutas targeting the cannons. As I said, it will fall very fast. The probes yeah, moving course, out. They want no to go to the expansion where there are other cannons. But here are the stalkers. Yeah, and this the is a lot of blink. stalkers. The stalkers don't have Link. But they will snipe out one of the mutalisks, mutas, but exactly. that's going to be it. Yeah, and, and, and they're quite, uh, well, not that much damage were done. How many workers did Only uh, one died. The Joker uh, well, lose? Well, there, there was one earlier in the scout, so maybe two. Maybe two died in this attack. Okay. So, well, uh, <laughs> so we see six unit kills, six unit killed in all in this game. So uh, on the side of Joker, but already the mutas are going Muta back to end the other mineral line to attack, but there's three cannons here, so at least one is going to be in range. And but the already mutas the are out of position there. in a... S no, right. they survived, but barely. Yeah. A second one could have fell there. That was a risky play for Darker Days. And there are cannons, well, everywhere in the expansion, preventing them from yeah. dealing any sort of damage. That said, he doesn't know where the stalkers are, but the main is uh, empty. And as yeah. I was saying, hidden pylon means counter-attack against yeah. Mulisk. And of course, now the turret has been established, so once you have that block of Mutas, you're kind of, as a Zerg, you're kind of comfortable against Protoss in this position, but maybe a fourth would, would be, like, uh, also a good timing to take. Uh, how, wh how would you feel in this position as a Protoss player on two bases? Well, the longer this lasts, the better he feels. That said, the Mulisk could have killed a few pros there and focused on the pylon instead. Like, they entered the base, just attacked the pylon near the, the robotic facility and the, uh, not the cybernetic core, but the robo bay. 
and uh, instead of like dealing the damage that the Zerg needs to do. But now we have the probe, the drone actually going to make a fourth base right beside the stock, the zealots. Oh, yeah, and he misplaced. didn't see them. I, I thought that cancel was because he saw them and yeah. like cancel, but no. <laughs> no and the mutants are going back place. in the expansion to kill the cannon, finish that cannon that had at them earlier. And actually, and the, it was that earlier. It was just rebuilt. Oh. And Again, just killing one probe, the stalkers on point moving, preventing any kind of harass. Those zealots, however, yeah. I don't know why they're not moving. But, but even though they should have moved already, because of that fort right beside them, they can wait. Well, actually, they can wait for the for the archery to be finished and to make sure that to get the instead of getting the cancel to get the expansion itself on that. Uh, but uh, but I don't know. Like for Joker, Joker it looks like he's not taking a third left. And Darker is it is 25 supply ahead. I think that's, that's somehow balanced. Zealots did not right? see the expansion, so they went. Oh no, yeah, oh, they, they know. They, they, they just see. they just don't want to get scouted. Yeah. That said, what's interesting is that uh, Darker Day is going for Hydralisk and Roach, and we saw Joker having one Colossus already and probably building another one right now. Uh, no, two Colossus already and building another one right wow, now. Wow, and that's an interesting and that's choice. And that's gonna be really strong against this little Mutalisk and. Oh. Uh, Hydra army. Is there blink now? They're soon gonna be blink on those stalkers, so they can't quite, but there's already maybe gonna get one kill nope. here. No, the Mulisk are safe for now. For but now, but again, the blink has just finished now, so Blinks he has to be careful. Finished. And this is a huge army. I mean, the, the, the 175 supply favors Darker Days, but I believe most of that is actually in drones. Like, we, and we have the Zealots here yeah, trying to go snipe, but the Mulisk are back. Mutalisk not gonna make just in time because they saw the pylon and now they're gonna be able to kill but maybe no the that queen we see the not queen the queen the, que the 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 queen dealing oh, the damage and going back <laughs> and attacking the hatchery what is oh happening? we almost sniped oh. the whole hatchery that that would have been terrible oh, but the army is the, the coming base, uh, the, the, uh, have been but there's a battle in the middle of the map and the, the stalkers those first field preventing the concave and the, the mutant is trying to snipe the, the Colossi and actually managing to snipe one of one them. Colossi, but, but the other, the mutants other mutants are just now. dying and yeah. the army is trying to move past that first field. But and thanks to that first field, that there's not a lot of army left, but the, it looks like the, the Zerg is going to have barely enough to hold. And actually, that's going to be enough. Like, the supply is now 168 to 120. Yes, we can see. And the Zerg oh, sniping the, the expansion counter. and yeah. both the expansions of Zerg fell down. This actually turning pretty okay for Protoss because there's another Colossi yeah. there. And with all those cannons and stalkers, this Zerg army might not be sufficient. Yeah, let's, what looks like at the micro here, the spread, how is the spread? The, the, the Zerg units are going to uh, walk back. But, but with Blink, blink so an aggressive Blink first, but that, I don't know about that Blink because, uh, yeah, he killed a few Hydralis, but that made him less so many stalkers now the the aggressive link still pushing forward yeah but i still think things are going well for darker days as he's gonna take back his two bases of course he, it's not the ideal to have lost both bases but he's now 50 supply ahead which is a good that, advance that is correct that has not expanded. Uh, can we see the worker lead like what's what's part of this is workers we actually yeah. only have uh, 16 workers in advance so most of it he still has the worker lead, but most of the lead is actually still the army, which and means Dr. Days is still yeah. safe. I mean, he can retake his expansion, which uh, I think he tried. Uh, just started now. The, the workers went to uh, harvest some minerals before actually building it, yep. which is uh, some accidental waste of time when you sometimes... Uh, Focus on too much stuff at once, yeah, but now it's like we're gonna have a fourth place for darker days in the new third, A third blade, a third base going up for Joker. The, the kill of those two hatcheries, however, I believe was, was a yeah. big, big play from Joker. Definitely, and uh, thanks to that waiting on the zealots, of course he could have cancelled the fourth, but the pylon would have been found al uh, uh, already. So instead, he used that big fight as a diversion for that counter, and he managed to take out both bases. Even and here is the units. actual uh, infestors. So I was not that far earlier. I mean, yeah, oh, there yeah. was a, a mutilist push, but now we're going infestors because 
And Festers will help against those uh, Blink Stalkers and Colossi, I mean, very, very much. Yeah, and I believe that is uh, the upgrade for the energy of the Infestors that's being researched. Well, I know that it's not mind control since we've not seen this for a while. <laughs> but looks <laughs> like the units of Dark Aces are going to be placed in position. Joker will probably poke, but if he engages in this, he could, it could be tremendous damage. He really can't afford to lose any part of this army at all. First, I cancel on the fifth, however. And yeah, there weird. is four Colossus in this army, and not much at the moment that Dark Days can do to stop it. Yeah, and it mm. looks like the, the, against against a lot of Colossi, Dark Days is surprisingly going for a, a Roach Hydra army. Of course, when, when it was Hydra and Rings of Liberty, that, that, that build was viable, it's seen. But for some reason, there's no Corruptors. Oh, but the Concave is magnificent here. Yes, and even, gonna, even well, though no, uh, Joker managed to, to destroy the rock, trying to minimize the Concave issue, but he saw, he saw that his Concave was terrible, it decides to retreat, which I believe is a good call. As At this point, as Prodas, you do not want to lose your army. Yeah, and at this point, what Darker Days could do is just attack the turd, pressure the turd, and make sure the army stays there. While uh, while droning up his last expansion, especially since the longer he waits, the closer Prodasis is to this dead ball. I mean, right now he has 35 supply lead, but the longer he yeah. waits, the, oh, the smaller that leads would be. But but, but both that both players attacking each the other's expansion. The army moving on the map. It looks like Darker Days did not notice that Joker was moving on the map. And is Darker Days what what is he going to decide to do? In this case, he could attack he, at the turn in this expansion. But, but he no, decides he decides back. to go back. But he's gonna grab the Protoss army in a way that it cannot retreat, however. Yeah, but is there, there's recall with the army, though. The, the, I believe the Mothership core is with the army. So no, it's still not. Has... So we cannot uh, recall. No, it's not. Okay, so... We cannot recall, but again, two expansions it. falling. This yeah. is a huge loss for Zerg, considering Protoss now in three base. But, the, but the Colossus are out of the, the position. Army. One of the Colossus yeah, falls. And the and other soon does. Oh, but the uh, but he manages to move here. away. Yeah, but and that's it, it be eventually a lot of falls. But it's so so many uh, roaches oh died God, of this. Where are the upgrades here? We this have is, uh, two, two, three, two going up. Uh, three, two for Protoss against two, two for Zerg. So yeah, it's pretty even, but all the Zerg army is falling. Yeah, and, 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 and all the Colossi are doing the difference here. His Roach Hydra army is not enough to beat this Colossi based army. Oh my god, and since and since considering the Protoss on three base and now Zerg's only on two, and Protoss still uh, now has the. the uh, actually, twice the supply lead is his opener. Yeah, and it looks like Joker uh, has That's the GG, exactly. There, there we go. We that's have Dark Days giving up. Like and we're going to go 1 1. We're going to have to go wow. to a third decider game. Totally. So we're go we're going to have to go to the third game, which is interesting because I believe Dark Days could just have went to a base race at this point. We'd have forced Protoss to actually come back. And yeah, with well, this uh, huge of a Zerg army. Zerg can kill the Protoss base very, very fast. So Protoss mm -hmm. has to decide, do I go back and defend now? Or do I go into a base race? And at which point do the Protoss go back to survive? Yeah. Because he would not have slaughtered yeah. all of the Zerg's base before the Zerg won the game. Yeah, I think I, it would have been hard, but I still think that getting a good chunk of u Protoss units into the Zerg's expansion is the key to winning that base trade. But, uh, but we'll see now. As The big question now will be, Will Joker get Protoss again? Because if he does, that's going to smell trouble for Darker Days. And, and as we can see in the bottom <laughs> right corner, go. yes. Oh. Yes, we cannot see it anymore. But yes, Joker <laughs> was Protoss. Joker is going to be Protoss for Game 3 here. So this should be very close. So Game 3, Protoss, uh, Joker Days, the red Protoss in the bottom right. And in the bottom um, left. Yeah, and in the bottom left, Dark Days, the, the green Zerg from Montreal. So everything seems okay for both player as they're saying in chat. We'll see how this goes. So again, Joker with his best race against the worst Darker Days matchup. Yeah, and, and, and Darker Days is surprisingly going for Roach Hydra against uh, Colossi last game. I wonder if, if Joker will think of going Colossi again. Maybe, like, if his opponent goes again for Roach Hydra, why not? You know, to get that macro game going. Uh, if it works one time, it could work two times. That's correct. And when, when, when it's not broken, don't try to fix it. That said, uh, Darker Days could actually change strategy, saying, well, that didn't go well. Maybe I'm not gonna Mutalis Crush again. Maybe I'm gonna try something more uh, uh, Roach Hydra from the start. Yep, or, and, uh, but we're gonna see now, uh, is Darker Days going to go for an early pool or is it gonna 15 
expand against a random player. But Jokers this time is going on one base only. They build the gateway from the start instead of a forge and trying to expand. So he's trying to uh, make uh, his opponent make a mistake because he knows last time he expanded first. So maybe Darker Days assume the same thing again. But Darker Days sending his scout in the yeah, correct in the direction, right direction from That's the start. So helpful. he will know from the start. <laughs> that there is no expansion and that an attack might be coming. Well, the first information he will know is that his opponent is Protoss. And he's going to place the pool there already. Yes. Uh, seeing seeing the Protoss on one base with a gateway first, Azurg, you're pretty confident you can resist if you make defenses, but you have to make them. So uh, this the thing with this map is that since there's three positions your opponent can be at, mm -hmm. if you don't scout it fast enough, you can assume again your opponents went uh, fast nexus because that's what happened next the game before, and then maybe yeah. you go for three uh, archery from the start, and then oh. you get. Oh, but it looks like Joker is has some kind of plan here. But did he see the Overlord? The Overlord is coming back though. The probe is gonna get in the corner, and wall itself Rubs out with the pylon. Love. He has to cancel it and rebuild it. Oh, this is a this is this a, a little and sloppy, it's and it's scouted, scouted instantly. We have three yeah. workers. Who are uh, <laughs> yeah, on sniping the probe? You have to cancel again. Yeah, and the probe that's, is gonna survive. That's but, uh, 50 minerals down the drain. And it looks like Joker Lord's uh, Joker Love's forge that was making in his main has been canceled and replaced by a, a second gateway instead. So he places all his buildings on the high ground, and he had to cancel his forge. <laughs> he maybe he thought he could he could go in for some shenanigans, but the Overlord was. On point, so definitely on point. On point. Surveillance. So we have three gateways going Ooh. up from Joker, so very, very aggressive. Yeah. But I don't know how I like ugly. that. I mean, a Zerg on two base can defend a three gate push. Yeah, but it depends. Like, what if Darker Days tries to throw off his opponent by going for an earlier three, three bases this time? Oh, but that's a very interesting move from Joker. He's going to go for the. Darker Days sees the expansion. I mean, yeah. everything Joker Ooh. does, scouted. From the start. Yeah, and I mean, I'm kind of surprised because if, if you think, yeah, yes, there are three gateways, but when you're expanding like that, usually you're going to place a wall of buildings to protect that expansion, right? Like, like in this position at Flodas, would you feel safe? Definitely not. I mean, we don't know what Zerg's going to do, but like just those Zerglings can actually deal tremendous damage to that next eye, and the Zealots might try to move out and try to... Oh, in the whole position here on the probe while that, the Zealots that, away. That's good. That was That's good, a, but I mean, <laughs> those nice Zerglings thing. could actually... Now that there's two Zealots, it would be more difficult, but those Zerglings could just have dance around the Nexus and deal damage while the Zealots try to run after them. Yeah, but it looks like now the worker advantage is for Darker Days. Ten workers in advance, and... Joker Love is going to go for his fourth gateway, but hopefully that will be enough to ha to hold the roaches that are coming. There's two overlords making, the roach iron is making. Darker Days has seen a nexus on low ground with no buildings walling. He smells weakness and he's going to go for it. That's correct. I mean, you have 10 roach already building, 11, 11 roaches, I mean... Not much Protoss can do uh, oh, this quick. He needs <laughs> cannons or an immortal. Oh, very, and very he's making three zealots. That's gonna hurt against what's coming because eleven roaches are going, being rallied to the to Jokerlov's base right now, and he has no idea. And that's sixty supply to thirty-five. I mean. What can five zealots do against <laughs> eleven roaches? Except they can tickle die. them. <laughs> <laughs> they can tickle them and die. As now, Joker is not going to warp any sentries or stalkers yet. He's banking on his gas instead. Maybe he's going for some kind of tech. But, but I think it's going to be too late. It's going to be too late. Their, their uh, mothership core is just starting. Yeah. I mean, he cannot even do for the cannons. And Moving there we out, go. The seeing the roaches. the roaches, and now he knows and that now he's he knows that he's way, 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 way behind. Oh, he and tries to he warp tries on the low ground. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to hold. Well, the, road, the, the zealots are the well sentry, placed. The, the sentry just falling. Oh, to play, barely one, placing the, the first field. Uh, but zergling. The at least there's going to be a mothership core. Yeah, the mothership core can deal damage unhindered because there's no entire for zerg. But the, the expansion will just fall. I mean, those stalkers are going to die. Yeah, and more and more units are being made from Darker Days. I think he's going to get this expansion, even though the opponent is on five gateways. Like, he, he doesn't have enough money to, to warp in from all those gateways, and all his units are dying. Is yes. this the end? Uh, I, I, it, it just might be. I mean, the Zerglings trying to go back down, stopped by a force field that says, oh yeah, you think you can kill my base? I'm going to kick four Zerglings. <laughs> but 
Even so, I mean, the Nexus is going down now. Nothing the, the Stalkers can do. It's too late. Yeah, it looks like Darker Days is going to decide this exact moment to stop you making units and to make drones instead. But he has 16 more uh, Zerglings coming up on the way to make sure that Joker doesn't re-expand. So I think Joker is going to be forced for in and all in. Like, what other option does he have? He has to warp in sentries and stalkers and go. Yeah, as Jokers, I would go for DTs. As, uh, for DTs, but, <laughs> but there's not even... What? <laughs> but there's not even a Twilight console making and a turd is making. For we can Pro. see Darker Days actually taking his turn, so making sure he keeps the lead. When you're ahead, stay ahead. Why, why attack? I mean, with the sentries on one base, Joker can actually survive for a long time. Yeah, and I like but the choice of six more roaches Those Nurgling with speed could act... If they manage to sneak in, it's going to be hard. So we have to see... The, J the Joker's reaction time. So one Zergling checking what's up. The other Zergling saying, mm, with this position, it's too risky. If this entry is on point, uh, Darker Days could lose all the Zergling. Yeah. And even though that wouldn't be this bad, it would still be a problem. Mm -hmm. And we see the proxy pile on here from Joker uh, starting to warping Zealots. And he's going to again wait for the archery to be done because I believe Joker scouted the, scouted the expansion already. So, um, oh, well, he's going to scout it right away. So Joker's only hope now is probably to, to use that pylon to go with a, well, five gateway all in. Yeah, but even there, I mean, there's so many units for the Darker Days that would just kill those Zealots without any problem. Yeah, so if, if there were only Zealots, but now there's going to be the Mothership, there's going to be the the few Stalkers, and and and, the, and he and it looks like Darker Days behind this is droning. I mean, at this point, the, the attack could could do well there's not a lot of units but uh who knows with the right force field sometimes you can produce a very surprising result that's results. correct but five of the zealots are just beside the expansion we have a uh, lair tech just finishing and yeah i mean i don't think that's army is enough to actually deal damage so those zealots need to kill workers or a base taking uh, i i believe those zealots are actually waiting for the zerg army to attack Proda's base yeah because well, that could be, yeah. That's he wants to counter. He wants to deal the damage. And he knows that if the Zerg army is nearby, that's just five zealots sacrifice. Yeah, and there we go. Joker is going to uh, go in and go back, you know. Smoking in, I think he's trying to force out the units from the Zerg player here. He's trying to, to make the Zerg player think he's going all in and to force units from him. Maybe he's thinking of expanding behind this. Yes, but he's plainly. not. I mean, Zerg already on three base for a while now. And yeah, this and like, decides yeah. to attack, but as I said, I don't even think that's going to be no, enough to no, make the, the enough. archery fall. To make the, to make the uh, archery and, and... A few circling dies, but there goes six zealots down the drain. That's I'm, under, I'm not sure I agree with this attack, because he knew the army was not on the map, so now that's, that's pretty, pretty much a sacrifice of his pylon, and one of his only hopes of winning at this point. And he's playing, now he's putting down the Nexus. Well... He, he, that allowed him to actually expand behind it because he knows the army is attacking his, his zealots. Yeah, but, but what? It, it's so late. It's gonna be very hard to come back in a macro and game against Darker a Days. And there's fire going up. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, but and that's that may be actually one of the ways uh, the Joker could come back if he goes for a fast blink in response to those uh, mutas and manages to kill them, because he's now half less than half his opponent's supply and he less than half his opponent's workers. But, uh, but there's so many Hydralisk and Roach coming. What I believe uh, Darker Days will do is just attack with his army, kill as much as he can, <laughs> and then sends uh, Mutalisk, assuming he doesn't outright kill him right then and there. Yeah, but it's going to come down to the force field, so we see four sentries with a lot of energy. So he's going to be able to stall by at least one minute, I think, to be, to be able to stall this army. Uh, to might just be, macro, might be. Chronobus probes. Five uh, mutalisks on the way, blink. but here the zerglings, they're going yeah, to move in, and no, no blinks. And okay, oh, so looks like moving around. It was late. The army dating. could have moved in, but the, the zerg are actually trying to force the force field yeah. at the wrong place. And here they go, but the yeah. zerglings and are in. Only Just the stop the rest so of the army, that, the And he has to force field the... Oh my god, but they moved in the ramp. The ramp. They're moving in. That would have been perfect. He would have killed just the Zerglings, but now he he's not even coming in his main base. Well, he can because there's a, a Zerg army waiting right by the front door. Yeah, yeah. And, and now, now the, the mutants, but the mutants are going to be killed by falling, But all the probes are falling. How are force fields going to help we you have against mutants? 18 workers David? died. How are force fields going to help you against mutants?
they're gonna prevent the rest of the army from helping the Mutas, but I don't think <laughs> it's gonna be enough. Yeah, with that much damage by I mean, the Zealots I mean, in the main, there's, there's like only six probes there's left. There's 11 workers remaining in this 11, game. Oh, 12. This is, 12 this is incredible 62. damage here. And the Stalkers have to move in because they're gonna lose everything, but once they're out, I'm expecting the oh. Roaches to come in. Yeah, and Darker Days are probably they very confident. Probably at this point, you're just being like happy about securing his win because the supply is just too big for his opponent. I yeah. mean, he's and taking, he's his, taking fort, his fort, you know, just macroing, continuing to. So again, like, what's the worst thing Darker Days could have done? Could have truly have moved in and lost all his army by yep. accident to a like, force field or some lucky storm or whatever he did not expect yeah and instead he's he he managed to get the lane run by which is the golden opportunity to kill almost all of his opponent's workers and anyway, here are the armies of with the going army, out on the map but this army yeah, is so sure big that will be and wh what do we see from joker the dark shrine <laughs> <laughs> yes, the Dark Shrine coming five minutes late, as you would say. <laughs> but um, yeah, the Dark Shrine as a last reminder. I mean, but again, it could Zerg, work in your dreams, dark shrine, but there's already, yeah, spore there's crawling. already spores. It's so easy for Zerg to actually just make a uh, defense. Like, those first fields were great, yeah, but I there's like so this. many mutants like and a few roaches that fell. It's not course. that the sentries fell, so there's not going to be a second one. I mean, the, and it looks like and the first fields yeah, are going to fall. Are there we over. Go. And then one tries to so pop up, but Zerg so here. many units just ringing at the doorbell and ringing. And we have the, the end GG. Of this best of three. So, Choker defeated. Yeah. We have like Darker Days moving up to the semifinals. Yeah, it looks like suddenly our last player here, not from Montreal, going to be defeated in the round of eight. So, we're going to rename this tournament uh, UGL Montreal <laughs> Season 3 from now on. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah. just kidding.